Video conferencing is a technology tool that allows you to communicate with others in a remote location or over long distances using video and audio. It can be as simple as you talking to a single person at another location or as complex as you teaching to one or more classrooms at the same time in multiple parts of the world. In the past, video conferencing was restricted to large schools or universities with large studios and large budgets. With the increasing availability of high-speed internet connectivity, along with less expensive but powerful equipment, video conferencing is becoming more and more available to those with limited budgets and facilities. An internet video conferencing system consists of a computer with a webcam, a microphone, a high-speed internet connection, and some type of video conferencing software. Additionally, the sites that you want to include in your video conference will need the same basic equipment. When connected, the webcam on your computer will broadcast to the other computers that you've invited to join in the conference. In return, you'll be able to see the image sent back to you from their computer's webcam. Depending on the software you use, you may also be able to run other applications that can be seen by all participants in the conference. Let's take a moment and see what you know about video conferencing. When you're done, click Next to learn more about how video conferencing can help you in your classroom. You will find many benefits to video conferencing, not the least of which is the ability to visit remote locations without ever leaving your classroom. Imagine holding a video conference with students from another state or even another country. Your students would have a chance to interact with students from another culture without the high cost of a field trip. Video conferencing could also allow your class to visit a museum without ever leaving the classroom. Or, if you prefer, you can use a video conference as an introduction to a planned field trip by arranging an orientation chat or virtual tour of a museum or library before you actually visit. The use of new technology in the classroom can contribute to increased student motivation. This is especially true if you involve the students in the setup and use of the technology. In addition, video conferencing can appeal to a wide range of learning styles by including a range of media such as video, audio, animation, images, and software applications. When using video conferencing in the classroom, it is important that you do not let the technology overwhelm the lesson. It should provide more opportunity to the students than simply watching a talking head on a computer screen. Remind them that they are doing more than watching television. Make sure you include activities that involve the students and allow them to interact with the other people in the conference. It may help to have a class discussion prior to the conference to let students know what to expect and to generate questions they might want to ask. You can increase student involvement by engaging them in discussions encouraging dialogue with others including those from the other locations and providing support material such as handouts or collaborative projects. This will help keep their interest and motivation. Video conferencing is a technology tool that can help motivate students, keep them engaged, and give them an opportunity to see and learn about people and places in a more interesting way than simply reading about them or hearing about them in a lecture. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.